illustrating this faith, what about 2.19, the devils have faith? Wouldn't this add um, further support for James' idea that there is a faith that isn't worth anything? And he talks about the faith of the devils. But start with 18. Someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works and I by my works will show you my faith. You believe that God is one? Now the pity is that we switch from faith to belief at this point. And the temptation is to now give an explanation of the difference between faith and belief. And the illustration I remember the most through the years, it was used so many times, was of a man stretching a cable across Niagara Falls, that fearsome cavern, uh, um, what's the word I want there, chasm there. And uh, after he'd stretched it to the right tautness, he got a wheelbarrow out and um, started to cross. But he turned to the audience and said, do you think I can make it? And one man in the audience said, yes, I believe you can. And the man with the wheelbarrow said, then you get in my wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, not me, said the bystander. Oh, you see, said the preacher, he believed, but he didn't have faith. I would say he had all the faith in the world, but he was scared of high places. If I knew that man could make it every hour on the hour, you couldn't get me in that wheelbarrow. How about most of you? Would you go across there? Even if you knew he could do it. And you see, that's not biblical. In the Bible, there's only one word for believe and have faith. It's exactly the same word. And it would be better here, much better, if belief or faith was used all the way through. Now let's read it with just faith. Maybe your version does. You see, you have faith that God is one. You do well. Even the demons have faith, is the word, and shudder. Now mine's quite, quite modest in the wording. Do you have some that are quite dramatic there? The devils believe that God is one, well done. Uh, you believe that God is one, well done, the devils believe the same. How does yours read? Is it? The devils believe and tremble with fear. Read the sentence before. The demons also believe and, have, and tremble with fear. Yes. So it obviously is not a saving belief, is it? Do any have belief all the way through, or faith all the way through, or trust all the way through, confidence? Same word. It really ought to be. See, I think we need to, to recognize how much the devils do believe. That is, they fully believe in the existence of God. And they know he is infinite in power. And they are also Adventists. They believe in the nearness of the end. The devil knows that he has but a short time. He's an Adventist. And uh, he goes about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. So James says, so you believe there's a God? You believe in the power of God? You believe in the coming of Christ? Well done. So do the devils, and it scares them. So just to believe those things isn't enough. So real faith is more than that, and that's what he's trying to say. Yes. Why does he pick on the idea that there is one God to show what the devils believe? Why, why doesn't he pick something about the death of Christ? Or well, I suppose he could have picked out anything, but perhaps uh, in those days, the most remarkable belief was in the oneness of God. There was some saving power in that? The devils? The people? No, he would be saying, uh, you have such faith as to know there's only one God. There's this one God, you're monotheists, one true God. The devils believe that too, and it scares them. So the fact that you believe, the fact that you say, I know up there, there is a true God who created the universe, and I know he's infinite in power, and all the rest of it. In fact, the devil could say, and I watched creation, and I watched the crucifixion, I watched the whole thing. Does that save him? Yeah, that's not enough just to know those things. Even to give the right date for every event does not save one. So if faith without appropriate works is not genuine, and I find that running consistently all through scripture, 